revenue. They, they've been waiting around so long. Back in uh, uh, 93, we knew that there was $2 million worth of asbestos in that building. Now, because things go up, it's probably closing down to $4 million of asbestos. has got to be taken out of that building to make it work. It's in the floor tiles, the ceiling tiles, the sun. It's all over the place. But if we can lose $3 million because they screwed up on a contract, could have gone in that building. And not only that, but there's a hundred and thirty million dollars that's been spent with the black and blue. We don't know where all that money is. You have a hundred and thirty million dollars in five years. Five hundred percent of that in five years. We don't know where the money went, and you had more than a fifty-five million dollar year budget on top of that. Where is all that money? <laughs> and you know who's paying for it? We are. Who's paying for it? That's why the taxes go up every year. He says he has a balanced budget. How could that be if you raise the taxes every year? They just voted January 6th to raise the taxes again. You know, but you got a balanced budget. Hempstead is a bigger village, has more responsibilities than we do. And they have a $7 million surplus. And their debt service is only $50 million. So that means the same time frame that we're in. And one of the sheets, it shows you what's going on. Right here. Hempstead. Our population is 42,000. Theirs is 52,000. We know that that's way off because we have undocumented. Their budget is sixty million five hundred thousand. Ours is, well, I should say, ours is six point five. Theirs is sixty five. Five hundred thousand dollars more than us, approximately, or a million more than us. Now the police, they, we have ninety two. They have one hundred twenty three. When it comes to per person, they're fourteen forty. We're twelve fifty. We have a deficit. Now, since they paid the bill since the announcement, they're down to four million six. And a surplus. They have money left over because they're working. They're doing the right thing. They're watching the numbers. People aren't watching the numbers here because it's a family business going on. When you pay your wife law firm that she's a partner to be your legal counsel, and their billing has no cap on it, they just spend, spend, spend. You put the bill in, here you go, honey, here's a check. There's no limit. Your brother-in-law is the village attorney. He has a contract. It should be, he should be the village attorney and this is your salary. 150,000, whatever it is, that's your salary. This guy starts at $550,000 and there's no limit on his bills. He just keep giving you bills and you keep paying him. So the mayor, his salary is $120,000. You know why? You think about it. Here's a mayor that's an attorney with more than 35 years experience. Anywhere an attorney with 35 years experience is making about $400,000 a year. But this one wants to work for $120,000? You know why? Because his whole family is in the budget of free for They're making millions. And I estimate about $10 million a year. They make all that. Because we are sleeping, we're not watching. That's why you don't see the improvements on the north. They don't have to because we're not doing anything. We're not demanding that we get our fair share. But the thing that I'm saying to all of my brothers and sisters in Freeport, we are the majority, not the minority. We can do this. We have the skills, we have the expertise. It's time for us to stand up with our children and show our children, teach them how to take care of home, because this is not home. This is the place that we're living right now, because we wouldn't let our home be unsafe, unclean, and unproven. There's nothing here to brag about. We can get it right. Starting on March 19th, we can start getting it right. It's over. The black and needs to go bye-bye. It's over.